Hello everyone, I am Gemma, your host tonight. How are we all? Oh my goodness, here on the Gold Coast, we've just had the biggest storm. I know that um, parts of Australia, you know, there are bushfires still burning and um, I know that, you know, a different part of Australia, there's flooding and whatnot, but it just seems like there's a lot of crazy energy weather activity going on in the world and yeah so obviously I look a wreck I feel like I've you know I've, I've been stuck in a storm and <laughs> um, it was a real big release to you know to see um, the heavens open up and to see all the water um, we haven't had rain for a long time um, so it was really good for you know mother nature to be able to suck up all that goodness and it just feels you know like a especially after the full moon last night, just a massive big release and a big release of letting go of everything that we've all been hanging on to that no longer serves us any good. So I've had a big week, um, a big week of clients, but I've been exhausted and I know that um, it's coming up to the end of the year and, um, you know, if, yeah, it's just exhausting. I know that it's like my... School's finished and it's like I feel like I've clocked off from work already and I have like a one-week work left. So it's going to be an exciting um, way to end the year for me next week. So that's probably, you know, the biggest thing. Just, yeah, really um, just really taking time out to look after ourselves during this um, busy time of the festive seasons. And I know last week I spoke about, you know, really um, eating and drinking and whatnot in moderations and um, I'm one for one to talk because I obviously had a big night but you know it was really nice to be able to let my hair down and to just you know just be just have fun just have fun with friends and family and just to not have any expectation on the night ahead and just to really enjoy meeting new people so you know it's it really takes one to get out of your comfort zone if you're not one for doing it to to put yourself out there and really enjoy the moment. And when you enjoy the moment, you'd be amazed at the kind of people you get to meet too. And um, so, yes, yeah, so it's just been a really big week of meeting new people as well for me. Um, and, yeah, it's just it's been huge. And I've been exhausted, but I think the biggest week you know that I've noticed is that I've spent a lot of time with my kids this week and they really bring me back to they really ground me um you know I can get so airy fairy and up in the air with work and because I've got spirit around me all the time being around my two beautiful boys they really ground me and they really you know it's they just yeah they're, they're beautiful and I have so much gratitude that I have them in my life so um, apart from that, um, yeah, I'm really quiet actually. I'm generally, I've got like, generally have a lot more to say, but um, it's just, it's been full on. And um, I know that next week is going to be a bigger week for me. I've got lots of readings um, planned, um, booked in. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking forward to spending time, spending time with my family and just having some quiet time and. No, no, no technology, really taking time out to ground myself, not having any technology, television, um, getting away from, you know, work a little bit um, and just enjoying, you know, the beautiful food and just spending it with the kind of people that, you know, you want to spend time with. So I've got that coming up in the next few weeks. So, but apart from that, I'm... Yeah, I'm really, (laughs) um, I've just had a, let me see what else I've had. I've had, um, I've probably had the quietest week spirit-wise. I generally, I was bombarded with spirit for about three weeks constantly. So it was very quiet for me to not have as many spirits um, knocking on my door. But um, I know that, you know, every time when I say it's quiet, it gets busy. So we are going to connect because we have Rayleigh in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, USA. Oh, Roosh, Roosh, Roosh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Rayleigh. Yes, ma'am. Um, how are you tonight? Good, and you? I'm very well, thank you. It's, um, yeah, I'm very well. I'm looking forward to the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so how can I help you? I was trying to, I was wondering if we connect, can connect to my grandmother who passed. Okay. Yep. All righty. Just let me just sit with and just see what's in my, who's here around me at the moment. Um, okay. Um, with your grandmother, did she have any, um, because I do have somebody in the room with me at the moment, but I'm really drawn to um, my chest area. Did she have any kind of breathing problems at all? Yes, ma'am. Okay, she did. Yeah, okay. She I'm just... had lung cancer. Okay, wow. Um, but such a determined lady too. She really fought to the end. Um, she's really, okay, I'm just, I'm just sitting with her energy at the moment because she's... Um, She's not one to jump in and say a lot at the moment. She's really, what she is showing me, um, does she have a dog? Because I'm really drawn to a dog around her. But it's, it's a lighter colour one. Okay. So she's showing me and this dog would be with her if it's passed as well? I'm not quite sure. My uncle has oh, Okay. Dog. Okay. So she's... I've just, she keeps showing me this dog, so whether it's past or not, but she's showing me this particular dog um, that was by her side, you know, and knew a lot, just knew her really well, um, especially when she wasn't feeling um, well. She's also, okay, just let me, I'm just waiting for her to warm up to my energy at the moment. She's showing me a vase. Um, by any chance, was she into um, creating like craft work, pottery? Because she's really, I'm really drawn to the vase. Was she in very a creative lady? Yes, ma'am. She loved painting. Yeah, because yeah. that's what she's showing me. So she's really, she's very proud of her. Um, she's very proud of her work, and not only that, a lot of she had a lot of compliments from people around her from the work that she did. Um, she's, yeah, so she's showing me this vase, this painting, and it's really beautiful, but she has this beautiful energy, and not only that, it's like I'm really, okay, I'm just, just tuning into, I'm, I'm, I've already, I've got it here, but I just feel really, um, I feel really, really calm and relaxed, like my mind, she was quite a, you know, she, she, she wasn't, she was a relaxed lady, like she's, she has the just most beautiful energy about her. Um, it's very soothing. I don't know. She's the kind of person that I know that she would be a great listener, that she would have listened to everything that you said to her. She was the kind of person that you could open up to because she's got this calming energy about her. Um, but I'm just really drawn to, you know, um, even towards – the end as well, like whether she had trouble speaking because my voice feels like it's it's um, just my voice feels like it's my throat area has got just a bit, you know, blocked as well. Yeah, uh, she um, But she's, yeah, and but she's a beautiful lady. Also, um, she's showing me rugs, a rug. Did she make rugs at all as well? What did you say? Did she have a like a rug, a blanket. Did she have like a blanket that she had over her legs or did she did she make blankets because she's sh showing me this particular blanket or something she had given to you? No, she gave me this blanket. Um, she loved it and yeah. it was her all-time favorite blanket and it sat on her recliner. Ah, yeah. And she would use that blanket to cover up. Yep, because that's what she's showing me, and she loved it. It's beautiful, by the way, this blanket, because it's um, she's really drawing my attention attention to it, and I can feel it too. So it's something that she really likes to feel that blanket close to her, because it's like I'm, you know, yeah. But she's she's beautiful. Um, she's um, okay. I just want to um, just ask a message for you, because I can obviously ask pass on messages. Um, she's definitely around you. Um, she's always around you, by the way. She's also mentioning, do you take off a particular ring and put it in a bowl? Do you a have ring? a particular ring, a ring on your finger that you take off every now and then? Yes, ma'am. 
Okay, so she's letting me know that just it's her way of letting me know that she's around you all the time by letting me know this because she's showing me this. And so she's definitely around you a lot, especially when you put that ring. There's a ring that you put in a bowl. Um, but she's also letting me know that, you know, you've gone through a lot and she's letting me know that you've gone through a lot of hoops. So you've had lots of struggle, but at the same time, you're so fierce and determined like she was, if anything, a lot more than what she was, that she wants to let you know that, you know, anything you want in life, you know, you work hard to get it. So she's basically saying that you you work hard, you know, the rewards are coming your way. Um, just hang on. Um, she knows you've got a lot of patience, but she's like, good things are coming for you. Um, she's also, she's leaning over. She wants to give you a big hug as well. She's a very huggy lady. Like she's, she's got this beautiful, she's got a beautiful heart. But she, um, at night time, do you actually feel like you have someone on the, around the back of your neck at night time? Do you feel her presence around you at night time, more so at night time? Actually, I feel like somebody's always with me. Uh, sorry, what was that? Sorry? No. Yeah, she's just letting me know that she's around you and it feels like you notice her presence is what she's letting me know. Yeah. And she's like, she's around you. She's just, you know, and when you feel her that close, it's her giving you a hug. So she's definitely around you. She's beautiful. And um, she's also letting me know, have you got, um, do you have a birthday? Is there some kind of celebration or birthday coming up for you? Because she's now showing me some flowers. Unless it was something, unless she has a birthday coming up, but there's flowers. She's got flowers in her hands. Yes, my birthday is in February. February 25th. Sorry, it's just cutting out. Sorry, there just seems to be a bit of a, um, I can hear you, but it's blurry. Um, can you repeat that again about the flowers, please? Yes, ma'am. I got a birthday in February 25th. Okay. Okay, so you do have one coming up. Um, yes, yeah, so she's definitely, and I just keep seeing lots of flowers. Um, she also mentions that a good cake is a good cake um, you like to celebrate with a good cake. The cake's very important. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so she's very, yeah, she's she's constantly around you. She's beautiful. She has this beautiful energy and she had a lot of people. She had a lot of love and she had a lot of support around her. Um, she had a lot of friends. She was the kind of person that, you know, what she's showing me is that she, you know, she she lit up the room basically. Her smile spoke a thousand words so yes so um okay um Rayleigh I have to go I have to end our reading together but I thank you for connecting with me tonight I would love for you to follow my Facebook page Gemma Spirit World Okie dokie, we have Brooke from Melbourne. Hello, Brooke. Hello, Brooke. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Very well, it's nice to speak to another Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the Gold Coast, so What's the weather like oh, in really? Melbourne at the moment? Yeah, I'm on the Gold Coast. So <laughs> you've connected to an Australian psychic. Oh, good. Um, so how can I help you today? Um, I was just wondering to know if there's anything that you can tell me or just I don't really have anything specific. Okay. Um, so before you spoke before, I've got, I can hear lots of music around you. Do you actually go to, um, festivals or bands? Like I've got lots of music around you. All right. 
Hey, did you say no? I'm going out like to one tonight. Ah, okay, okay. Because I keep, I can hear it. I can hear the music, and I'm like, oh my goodness. So, pretty much, you're excited about, you know, getting, um, going out. Basically, I can just, I can hear it. It's oh my god. <laughs> It's going to be a big night. You're going to have a lot of fun. That's good. <laughs> um, it's really don't go. Don't have any expectations. Just enjoy. Really kick up those I heels. Will. I will. Yeah. So I've got that coming through for you. I've also. Um, I have a. Are you planning on traveling soon? Because I keep seeing a plane and. Um, whether you're going to Sydney, but it feels like you're travelling to a different state soon. Is that correct? I'm not sure yet. My mum wanted to go to Queensland with me in April, but yep. I'm not sure yet. Um, okay, because I do see that happening for you, but it'd be interesting to see what, what obviously... What I see is obviously I can see what, but at the end of the day, oh my goodness, my pussy cat is on the table. Whether at the end of the day, um, it's yeah your choice. But I definitely see a plane. It feels like soon. It feels like within the next three months um, because the plane comes through really quick. Like it's really close to me. Um, also, um, do you also do uh, work two jobs? Because I keep hearing a juggling act a juggling act, like you're juggling a lot of things in your life at the moment as well. Oh, no, we lost Brooke. Okay, thank you. All right, we're just connecting to get Brooke back. My pussycat has come in to say hello. Raffy, Raffy. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to show himself today. Generally... He likes to walk up on the screen. Let's have a look to see if we can get him on. There we go. Say hello, pussycat. No. He's still a kitten. Mm -hmm. All righty, then we're just seeing if we can connect with Brooke again. So let me just see what else. Um, yeah, so Brooke, uh, juggling acts. So obviously she has a lot going on. Um, but I'm really interested to know she has two jobs because it just feels like she's, Ah, yeah, she's got a lot going on there. Um, okay, so another thing for you, Brooke, that I have coming through is, yeah, you're definitely going to Queensland, definitely. Because I can see, I can see the palm trees as well. And I get that humidity feel that it's going to be quite warm when you come up. Very noticing, you will notice a big difference from Melbourne weather. Oh, pussycat. Um, but apart from that, we may not. Let me see what else has got going on. I know that she's going to have a great night tonight. Um, oh, my goodness. She's got lots coming up, lots coming up. She's the life of the party um, and enjoys, she enjoys life. And it's really good to see that she has a, a big group of friends around her. Um, keep seeing the colour red around her, so whether she's wearing something red tonight. Um, but generally, you know, it's you know, if it's not something that she's wearing red, it's all about love. So it'd be interesting to see who she's meeting, who she's meeting up with, and who she meets tonight. Um, Brooke, I get the number twelve for you. So if twelve resonates with you. It could be a birthday. Could be an anniversary for something. Could even be, yeah, a number that you resonate really well with. Well with the number twelve. We've got lots going on for Brooke at the moment, so we're just seeing if we can get her back online. Okay, Holly. Holly. Yep, I'm here. We, hello, is it Holly? Yes, I'm Holly. Oh, you're, you're Holly. How are you, Holly? Good. How are you? Well, thank you. Um, what what um, areas in your life would you like me to look at for you? Um, just whatever you're drawn to. I mean, if okay, I have enough words. Really, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm really drawn to your heart chakra at the moment. I feel like you've gone through a lot lately. It just feels like you've had a bit of a heartbreak around whether you've lost someone really close to you. 
um, my heart feels, oh, it feels really, and you've gone through, you're going through um, a hard, you've gone through a hard time. Have you lost um, a female around you at the moment, a male, uh, sorry, a female energy, like a mum, even a grandmother um, around you? My mom and I have been arguing pretty much, going back and forth. Okay, okay so this but is where the heavy heart is. Going. Okay, so the heavy heart is around your mum, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, I can feel that and I can feel that. She's one very stubborn lady too. It doesn't like to, to listen to two sides of the story. Yep, you are correct. <laughs> yeah, I can see Very it. Sure. And oh my goodness, it's like it's yeah, it's really hard to doesn't matter what you say at the end of the day, it feels like, you know, she's only going to listen to her way and no one else's way. Um Right. Oh my exactly. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, you have two children, is that correct? Two children? I keep seeing the number two around you. Um, four, actually. <laughs> four, okay, okay. So let me just see where. Okay, so with your um, four children, um, are there two of them close in age? Like is there two of them close in age and then the other two, like there's a gap in between the third and the fourth? Uh, my two youngest are the closest ones and then my two older ones are farther apart. Yeah, okay, because I can see that. I can, so I'm can. i really drawn to the two. Why not? Sorry, I've got my cat on the screen. Um, um, drawn to the, the two youngest as well. They've also gone through a lot as well. Actually, are you going through a separation or some, not a separation, but even some kind of relationship or a separation? Of, of, there's issues in your uh, relationship with your partner. Uh, my ex-husband and I are very much arguing a lot lately, <laughs> actually. Oh, okay. so that's, I can feel that as well. It's quite draining on you because you're going through so much mentally and it's more mental exhaustion than physically. And I also feel like because I'm really drawn to your two youngest as well and they are very uh, can be very emotional and also it's really hard to, you know, you, you give so much to your children and it's like you don't have enough you know, energy left for, you know, to look after yourself. But you keep on soldiering on because you have this strength about you. And given that, you know, you don't have, at the moment, you, you don't have the support from your mum, you know, it feels like that, you know, that that support's not there at the moment for you. Mm-hmm. Um, I also, what I keep yeah. seeing for you is, oh, you know, I feel, I feel your heart, um, just know that you've got the strength and it feels like you're going through like this huge big storm at the moment because I keep seeing tidal waves in front of you but I know that you always come out at the end stronger and you have more clarity on the situation. Your mum is stubborn but also at the end of the day, you know, it's what I'm seeing for you is that you're honest with your feelings and you're honest with, you know, how you talk to her but sometimes... What I'm seeing for her is that your mum, it just, it upsets her because she, she uh, what I'm seeing around your mum is that she has blame. She keeps blaming herself for something. And that, and with that blame, she takes it out on others. Does this resonate with you in the fact that she feels guilty and blames, her health, blames herself for something? Oh, yes, very much so. She left when I was nine years old. Um, um, ah, oh. yeah moved and never came back to my uh, two younger brothers and then my stepdad raised me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and you're still in, you're still in, you're still, your relationship with your dad's, just, dad's still really strong, isn't it? Actually, it's not. Uh, my biological dad is, yes, but my stepdad, okay. no. Okay, because I can feel the male energy around you. Okay, so, I'm, oh yeah. so I can feel that support there um, is there for you, but it's not the same when it's, you know, because you have this connection with your mum and it feels like, you've, you know, you reconnected. But it's also, it's amazing how, you know, oh, when things go south with your mum, it really takes a, it takes a while for her to reconnect with you again. And that's the hardest part because you have that fear of, losing her again 
when you had already lost mm-hmm. her at a young age, if that makes sense. Yes, it does. <laughs> Very yeah, and there's so. a fear, uh, yeah, and I feel I feel that fear, and I know that you're not going to lose your mum. It's just that she needs a little bit of space to really work out, you know, um, just what's going on. Yeah, she's just got lots going on in her mind, and um, I just think that space is good for her, but at the same time, just keep on checking in on her and it just, you know, just to see how she's doing. But I know that she's going to... She's going to definitely come around, you know. It's just that she's very stubborn, stubborn. Very, <laughs> very, very. Very stubborn. <laughs> and you've got that as well, but at the same time you've got the strength so you can see two sides of things and where she doesn't. And it's like she can learn a lot from you and I see that, you know, you, you're, yeah, it's like I know that, um, yeah, just give it next week. I can guarantee that the both of you will be, back to talking with one another. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Make my life a lot easier, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And it just so. won't feel so it won't feel like you've got everything against you because it's you've got your mum's support and I mean your mum your mum's support's the best support and it's just they just you, you know, they just get you, you know, they understand you and um and as for your ex partner um he's got a lot of issues going on my head feels really heavy he's very emotional he's up and down he's he doesn't know whether he's coming or going but at the same time just keep on standing in your truth in your power just keep on doing what you're doing because the strength that and what you do for others and how much you put everyone else before yourself is amazing so really remember to yeah just take some time out for yourself (laughs) I know, you, you do so much, I can see it, and it's like, it's exhausting, but it's like, I know that, I know that when your relationship feels like it's reunited with your mum, you're going to feel like everything's okay again, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't. Okay. It, it seemed like as soon as we started arguing, everything kind of went tumbling down. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, and just... You know, you can even say to her, I know you're stubborn, but come on, Mum, really, it's Christmas time soon, you know? It's like, right. it's silly, it's silly. Like, she just, yeah, she really needs to get outside a little bit more. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Holly, I have to um, end our connection, but it was lovely to chat with you from USA. Um, I would love for you to follow me on my Facebook page, Gemma Spirit World.